When you hear the name Junior League, it often conjures up phrases like members only club, but the Palm Beach County chapter is putting a new face on the past in an undeniable way. Okay, so this is my office. Marcel Burke never saw this coming. Nope. 13 years after joining the Junior League of the Palm Beaches. I'm still processing, to be quite honest with you. She is the first black president. It's a pinch me moment since the league got its start more than 120 years ago in New York City. The unwritten rule, it was a white women's group. So I remember my mother teasing me a little bit when I joined about white gloves and pearls and tea parties. Uh, I think what this shows is that, no, we're so much more than that. In recent years, the Palm Beach chapter has been a part of a national lightning rod to change its stuffy stereotype, better reflecting the people it serves. We want our lead to represent our community, and if we're not diverse, we're not. For new members like Janice Davis. This is amazing. The significance isn't lost on either of them. I get emotional with Janice because not only is she my complexion, but she is a beautiful black woman who wears her hair natural. I mean, there are so many things here. As the voice of nearly 600 volunteer members, Burke proudly carries the mantle of those before her, identifying and funding projects that pour into kids and community. Yet she also feels the gravity of this moment, knowing her presence signals a larger shift from the inside out. My face shows that, you know, maybe they're not who we thought they were. You know? I asked Burke if she's ever felt not wanted within the walls of this women's service group. Her response has been not once. And, you know, she said it earlier, I wouldn't be somewhere necessarily where I couldn't learn and grow and develop. And they make each other, they say, better. Uh, so much yeah. sincerity and heart, too, when yeah. they talk about this. A lot of, a lot of emotion. A special group.